Hello everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. I'm your host, Sean Ian. In today's video, we'll be going over power sets. What are power sets? Power sets are pretty cool and a massive pain to write. So a power set is very simply the set of all subsets of a particular set. So for example, let's first define a set. We'll define a set A. Let's start off easy. Let's say set A is the set containing one, two, and three. Even this will be a pain to write. So the power set of A, denoted P of A, is equal to the set that contains every subset of A. So all you have to do is open up a set, put in this set every subset of A, and that's your power set. So let's do this example. For starters, we have the empty set, because the empty set is a subset of every set. Then we have the set containing one. This set's a subset of A. We have the set containing two. That's a subset. Remembering that a subset of one set is any set um, whose elements are all present in A. So let's continue. We have the set containing one, the set containing two, the set containing three, the set containing one and two. And I'll just write the rest of these out and we'll skip to that. And that is our power set. I'm sorry that it spans two lines. It makes it a little tougher to look at, um, but that's the power set. So in this set, the power set of A is every subset of A. We have the empty set, which is a subset, and then we have all the sets that contain um, elements present in A, one, two, three, one, two. Again, rule of a subset is that if A, let's say if a little a is an element of this set, then it must also be an element of this set. That's what makes it a subset, which is why the set itself, we see A is in here as well. That set is also a subset of A because every element in this set is also in this set. And we can sort of check ourselves when we're writing power sets with a simple rule. The amount of subsets that any given set has is 2 to the power of n, where n is the cardinality of the set. In this case, that will be 2 to the third because a has a cardinality of 3. So there should be, well that means that there's 8 subsets of a, therefore the cardinality of our power set should also be Eight, because again, the power set is the set containing all subsets. You see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that checks out A-OK, -okay, the cardinality of our power set, is A as we would expect. I pronounced as in a very strange manner. That's really all there is to it. It's not really necessary, uh, I don't think, to do another example. Um, so again, the power set is just the set that contains all subsets of a given set. If you want to just look at the uh, empty set real quick, because that's always a um, slightly interesting example. If we look at the power set of the empty set, that is, as you might expect, just going to be the set that contains the empty set. Because the only subset of the empty set is the empty set, therefore the power set of the empty set is the set containing the empty set, which is again the set containing all subsets of the given set. So I hope this video helped you understand what power sets are and how to find them. Remember this handy rule so you can check that you've got all the necessary elements in your power set. And uh, I hope this video helped you understand what they are. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, if you need anything clarified, or if you have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. I can hear your voice from all the way up here, dear. Won't you please come to There's a light where I float that erases all black. It makes everything.